what's ripening out there YouTube so the pineapples are still going strong and if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram you probably saw that I was doing an experiment this year with uh, pest control and the experiment was using this plectranthus plant that's really kind of odorific it smells really similar to the rodent repellent sachets that you can get at Home Depot and so I was actually putting a cutting underneath each one of these to see if it helped keep the rodents away from my beautiful little pineapples and um, I've been harvesting for the last couple weeks I'm probably probably a little bit more than halfway through my pineapples I'll show you the ones I got today um, and I have had happily absolutely no rodent damage whatsoever the only damage I've had I'll show you what I've had let's see if we can find one I've had a couple that had like pock marks on the top of the fruit and it's either from sunburn or from birds uh, pecking on them. So I've had a couple like that. Let me see if I can find one. Um, well, this side's almost all picked over. No, not that one, not that one. Well, anyway, I've had a couple that had like pock marks where it might have been birds but uh, nothing from the rodents, which is surprising because I'm getting a fair amount of rodent pressure within my mango grove. So they're chewing up mangoes that aren't ripe yet. And, uh, but they're not coming right over here to these delicious smelling pineapples. So using that, that odorific plant and just kind of placing it underneath when, while they're ripening. So it kind of counteracts the, the delicious golden pineapple smell seems to have worked and I, I won't tell you that it's going to work for you but it worked for me it's probably worth a try um, I've mentioned before the other things I have going on here is I have things like these perches you know I didn't put them here as perches to begin with but I have that and I have you know a predator perch there um, I think it helps you know using using your uh, your airborne neighbors and having these kind of like open laneways, having the plants planted densely. Um, one thing I did do as well is I chose not to remove any of the slips from the pineapples. To me, it's, it's, like, it's like a barbed wire fence around the fruit. Some of them only have one or two, some of them have zero. I'll show you ones that are really, really intense. Here's one, this is the sugarloaf variety. Check that out, one plant. You can actually pick this one. So I left some behind. Let's pick these off. One, two, three. My goodness. I'm gonna tear up my hands doing this. Mm. Doesn't want to let go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 slips for one pineapple. So this variety really protects itself. It puts up that whole barrier. I'll show you another one that hasn't been taken apart. But you can see it's really protecting itself. And you know, if, if I wanted maximum fruit size, I would remove the slips so that the energy could be put into the fruit. That's why I'm getting smaller fruit on this particular variety. 
Um, but for me, I'm choosing to leave these on because I want to propagate and plant more pineapples or possibly sell these. I might be selling the slips this year. I haven't decided yet. Um, but that's kind of like a, you know, thinking about how this plant would protect itself in the first place. And then, you know, once it's ready, it pre presents itself with a beautiful smell and it's basically attracting something to come eat it so it can spread its seeds, spread the crown. You know, that's kind of how the, the plant operates. But um, that, using that, that herb seemed to, seemed to help. I didn't put any cages around my fruit this year. Uh, I just didn't have the time or the resources to do it um, based on what, what else I've got going on right now. But uh, try that out for yourself. See if you can get your, your pineapples to, to make it all the way to maturity and uh, you'll be happy that you did. If you taste a fully ripened one, it'll knock your socks off. So anyway, that's what's ripening. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.